sharing my screen. We're going to watch the video. It's about 14 minutes long, but it's really good. So you're going to love it. And then we'll um, kind of talk a little bit after and answer any questions you guys might have. So here we go. Hello, my name is Dr. Kyle Manning, and I'm a Special Olympics Wisconsin Special Smiles Clinical Director, and I wanted to introduce you to our program if you're not familiar with it. With the financial help of the Delta Dental of Wisconsin Foundation, we are able to help and, and provide free dental screenings at some of our Special Olympics Wisconsin athletic events throughout the year. Our goal is to provide a free oral health screening, a fluoride varnish to help protect the teeth, individually fitted mouth guards, oral health education, and information regarding any follow-up care that may be needed if you are interested. It is our goal to guide the athlete to a good oral health and an overall healthy lifestyle. Your whole body needs you to keep you to stay healthy, so do your part and stay healthy and brush those teeth. Enjoy the video that the Special Care Dentistry Association at Marquette University School of Dentistry has provided you. We hope this helps you be more comfortable at the dental school and at your regular dentist. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to stop by the Special Smiles area at your next event to come say hi. Hi, Special Olympics Wisconsin. Today we're gonna to be showing you what it's like to come to the dentist. Come on in. The first place you'll encounter walking into our school or any dental clinic is the front lobby and the waiting area. Here you'll get your temperature taken. We take the temperatures of all our patients and students to make sure everyone is healthy and ready to enter the school. The next thing we'll do is check you in. This makes sure that your dentist or dental student knows you're here and ready to get started with your appointment. After checking in, you'll wait in the waiting area until your student dentist comes and calls your name. And then hey, Missy, why do the Kansas City Chiefs defeat? a brand new patient at Marquette's Dental School or any dental clinic, the first thing we do is ask you some questions about you and your health. These questions include basic things like basic information about yourself, how you feel on the day that you're coming, questions about your health in the past, questions about your dental health in the past. All of these questions help dental staff better treat you. So what brings you in today? I'm just getting a checkup. So the first thing that we're going to do before we get started is go ahead and take your blood pressure. It's important for us to get to know you. So the first things we ask when you come in are your name, your age, your gender, and a few other questions to make the dental appointment easier. Also, we may ask you if you are able to sign legal documents yourself or if you have a legal guardian who can sign them for you. Are you able to sign for yourself? Yeah. The next thing we'd like to ask is how you're feeling. If you're feeling sick or if you're in pain, making you feel better is our first priority before we do anything else. Are you in any pain today? No. If you're feeling good on the day of our appointment, we can move on to asking about your health. This includes asking about when was the last time you went to the dentist, if you've been treated recently for something else, if you have any long-term conditions, and if there's any medicine you are taking. When was the last time you saw your doctor? About six months ago. And are you taking any medication? No. Nope. Finally, we'll ask you about your mouth. This includes things like how often you brush and floss, what you eat and drink, when is the last time you've been to the dentist, and if you have any other teeth that have been treated before. This makes it easier for us to know what you've already done so we can know what we need to do in the future. So how often are you brushing your teeth? Twice a day. And how often are you flossing your teeth? Twice a day. And when was the last time you saw your dentist? A year ago. After that, we're all done with the screening and we can move on to the intraoral exam. The next thing we do is look inside your mouth and use a few tools to check to see if your teeth and gums are healthy. The first thing that we do is make sure all your teeth are there. Most people will have between 28 and 32 teeth once all the teeth come in. Before you get your adult teeth, you have 20 teeth as a kid. So, to make sure we are treating you right, we like to count how many teeth you have and what kind of teeth you have. 
you have baby teeth or adult teeth. The doctor will put on safety glasses on you and herself to protect you. She will also put on a face shield. She might use a light so that you can see the teeth a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and count your teeth today. Sounds good. Go ahead and open wide. One, two, three. While counting your teeth, we also use special tools to look for any spots that we could fix. Everything is looking very healthy. There might be one spot that has some sugar bugs though. We might need to fix that for you. The next appointment you'll have, if this is your first time here or you haven't been back in a while, is taking x-rays. X-rays are an important tool for dentists to be able to see things we wouldn't usually be able to see just with our eyes. The dentist will help you put on a special jacket to make sure that we protect your body. There are a few ways we can take an x-ray. Most likely, we'll be using these film plates. We'll also use some colored rings to help us take a better picture. These little films go right next to your teeth in your mouth mm -hmm. and then are used to take pictures. We use these to look at your crown, your roots, and every space in between. We will take these pictures with a mounted x-ray machine like the one you see here. This is like taking a picture of your teeth with our special camera. Say cheese. If we want to take a larger picture of your whole mouth, we may do something called a panoramic x-ray or pan. The dentist will help you put on a special jacket again. The pan x-ray moves around your head, taking one big picture that includes your jaw, all of your teeth, your bones, and other important structures. After this, we get this picture. With this, we can know exactly what we can do to help you in our clinic. Once we have all your teeth checked out and x-rayed, we're ready to get to a cleaning. We have many ways to clean your teeth, and we're going to show you a few ways that we do that. The dentist will probably have a helper sitting next to you to assist her with your cleaning. Before you get started, the dentist will put a bib on you to make sure your clothes stay clean. The dentist will move the chair down to make you feel comfortable and relaxed. The first thing we'll do is use our special tooth cleaners. These are important tools we use to get plaque off the teeth above and below your gums. This not only helps your teeth stay healthy, but okay. keeps your gums healthy and makes them not hurt. After this, we will move to the tooth polisher. The dentist will use some fun flavored toothpaste too. This helpful tool can help polish, clean, and shine up your teeth while removing anything we don't want. The helper will rinse out your mouth with water and use a special straw to keep everything dry. After this, to make sure we get between your teeth, we use floss. This helps get rid of all of the food that may get stuck between your teeth. Last, we like to place what we call fluoride on your teeth. The dentist uses a paintbrush to paint it on your teeth. This keeps your teeth healthy and strong. It's just like vitamins for your teeth. After all of this, your teeth will be nice and clean. After all of this is finished, there are a few things that can happen. If we don't find anything to fix, the next appointment you will have is another cleaning. Depending on your teeth, this could be anywhere from two months to six months. 
If we do find something, we could do a number of different treatments to fix any problem you might have. One of the most common dental procedures is a filling. If you have a cavity, we will use this instrument to take out bad parts of your teeth and then fill them in with strong materials instead to keep your teeth nice and strong. There are other treatments that could also happen, like extractions, root canals, and crowns. An extraction is when we take a bad tooth out that might be causing you pain. This tooth is hurting me over here. All right, we'll take a look. That tooth does look sick. Because it looks sick and is making you hurt, we're going to wiggle it out. A root canal is when you have a sick root on one of your teeth and we use special tools to take out what is making your root sick and replace it with a new, healthy, soft material. Also, if the top of your tooth is weak or broken, we can put a new top on your tooth called the crown. We use tools to make a base for this crown to go on, which will make your tooth healthy and strong again. these procedures, we use something called anesthesia. Using special materials, we can numb your mouth so you don't feel any pain. I'm going to put this jelly on your gums. It'll make your teeth feel sleepy. Now that we're back home, we're going to show you what you can do when you're back home too. Every day you should brush your teeth at least two times a day once when you wake up and once when you go to bed. And if you really want to have strong teeth, you can brush after your meals or when you snack. When you brush, you should brush for two minutes each time. Start by putting this amount of toothpaste on your toothbrush. Then put it under the water for just enough to get it wet. Then we can start. As you can see, Margaret is making small circles when she brushes and has the brush pointed to her gums. This helps clean both above and under your gums as well as your teeth. And don't forget, when you brush your teeth, get the front, the back, and the tops. After this, spread out all the toothpaste and make sure to brush your tongue to keep that clean too. Once you're done brushing, that means you got your front, the back, and the tops of your teeth. But we want to make sure you don't miss one last spot, and that's between your teeth. Now there are a few ways we can floss. You can use floss by itself, or you can even use other ways of flossing. When you floss, you wrap around your middle finger and pinch with your index finger and thumb. Hug the sides of the tooth and go back and forth and up and down to get out any food or plaque that might be stuck. And remember, you should floss at least once a day or after meals. Just to get any area you may have missed, we like to finish with mouthwash. We recommend Listerine mouthwash with fluoride or Ash mouthwash without alcohol. Both of these, when you swish them around in your mouth, not only help clean out anything left over, but also strengthen your teeth with the ingredients inside. Mouthwash for 15 seconds after brushing and flossing can keep your teeth healthy and your breath smelling good. And doing just these three things every day can help your teeth stay healthy and strong. That wraps up everything we have to teach you about a Marquette Dental School visit or any clinic you might see in the future. We hope you learned something today about staying healthy so, stay healthy, stay happy, and from Marquette to you, we hope you see you soon. Great job, dental students. And I have to thank Dr. Kyle Mangi for letting them use his clinic to film that. Um, so I wanna open up the discussion 
um, and see if there's any questions that you have about the video, any piece of it, um, any procedure or something you saw. Um, and then we want to wrap up at the end, just reinforcing and talking about maybe what we should be doing at home too. All right, Missy, looks like Michael Pohl had his hand up first, so. Oh, perfect. So the question is, I use a uh, mouth guard every night when I go to sleep. It's so hard to keep inside my mouth. How to keep a mouth guard inside your mouth because I sleep with a mouth guard every day. Michael, was that how do you keep your mouth guard in at night? Yeah, I when I sleep. Yeah, when I sleep. Oh, does it fall out? Yes, it does sometimes. Oh. I think I'm going to let Kyle answer that one. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Michael, uh, sometimes they they get a little loose after if they're too old. So yeah. next time you're at your dentist, I want you to let your dentist know that uh, that it's loose and sometimes it falls out when you're sleeping. Or and then uh, they might want to fit you for a new one. Is it one of the night guards that we the mouth guards that we made uh, at a special Olympics event? Oh uh, no, I I just I get this one at my own dentist. Yeah, they might uh, want to just fit you for a new one. Sometimes if they get a little old uh, and you use them too much, uh, they might uh, get a little loose. So he might be able to make you, or she might be able to make you one that's a little bit more snug for your teeth, so it doesn't fall. Thank you. No problem. Good question. All right. Looks like next question, Mike Schultz. Let's see if I can un. There you go, Mike. So, um, a quick question in kind of the video is, um, how do we like keep our, like I brush my teeth, um, twice a day, but should I brush it more than twice a day? Do Carly or Michael, uh, want to, want to take that one? Yeah, um, brushing your teeth twice a day is really good. So if you're doing that already, that's awesome. Um, we definitely recommend, you know, brushing in the morning and then you really, really want to brush at night too because if you had any, you know, food that you ate throughout the day, anything with sugar in it, we don't want that to sit on your teeth as you sleep. Um, you make yeah. Two times a day is really awesome. Try to mix in some flossing if you can. Some people like to brush more if, if that's something that they're concerned about. If they have a higher risk for cavities, sometimes people will brush, you know, like after a meal or something, if that is a concern for them. But twice a day is really awesome. So that's that's great that you're doing it twice a day already. And then I just have an additional question. Um, so are you guys at the state summer games in Stevens Point? Michael, I can answer that one. Um, so we have special smiles, uh, typically four times a year at different events. And we are at the state summer games when we have that, but with the pandemic, um, things have very much changed the past year. And um, I don't know if we'll be, um, I don't wanna say back to normal, but um, our, our event at Carroll University in August, I wanna say August 8th, Don, is that correct off the top of my head? Um, is um, we'll have special smiles there. We'll, instead of at Stevens Point this year, we're gonna be at the uh, Merrill Track Meet um, in May with special smiles. And I can tell you right now that is May 15th. Um, so you'll see us at a couple events. We will be at four this year. The dental students, we usually do try to have a few of them at each of our events. Um, and we always have a clinical director like Dr. Kyle or Sherry also at our special smiles events. Waukesha where is, our, is the 7th. August 7th in Waukesha is another date we'll be there. All right, anybody else have a question? Uh, looks like PJ and then we'll go to uh, Jake. Yeah, so would it, even though you do have to use uh, floss for your teeth, um, if with with a, a small mouth, would it be better to do it with a water pick? I can answer this one for you, PJ. So we really encourage 
any way that you can get in between your teeth. So in the video, we talked about floss, but a water pick will also get the food that's stuck in between your teeth. So if you're struggling to get the floss in between your teeth and a water pick works better for you and you can do it every day, then I think that's a great idea. There's also, um, you can find at the grocery store, um, floss that comes on a little handle. Yeah, just like I, this. I have props. <laughs> so really anything that you guys find you can use every day to get the food that a toothbrush can't reach is a great idea. So if that's a water pick for you, PJ, I think you should totally do it. Okay. Oh, Sherry question. has a question. Go ahead, Jake. I actually would like to interject that, yes, a water pick, if, if that's the easiest for you and you like it, use it. Our goal is that you're using something in between your teeth there's also not only the floss already rigged up flossers like Missy showed you, but there's the soft picks. The thing you want to make sure, just like they showed you in the video when they were flossing, they pushed up against the tooth and they went up and down. You have to do that with the floss, already rigged up flosser and then those little, little brushes that go in between. You just can't put it in between. You got to push up against the tooth on each side and go in and out with them. Mm. Okay. Hey, Jake. Yeah, when I saw that video, the extraction, what happens if you get more teeth like that? What do you do if you get it? My question is here, what do you recommend? Implants? For an extraction, Jake, is that your question? Yeah. I can answer this one. Um, when you get a tooth extracted, it kind of um, depends on what's going on around the tooth that can kind of decide what we do with that next. So if there's a tooth um, that's in between two teeth and that gets extracted, we could, um, we could do an implant, like you said, or we could even do a bridge, which is using the two teeth next to it to hold in a tooth in the middle. Um, there's a lot of options we can do. And if um, you get a lot of teeth extracted, you can also do um, dentures or like partial dentures. So there's a lot of options you can have um, as well as implants. And most of them are pretty good. Yeah. Or you don't have to do anything at all. If you get a tooth That's extracted, true. you don't have to have anything to replace that tooth. Mm -hmm. I think it might depend on where it is too in your mouth, right? Exactly. Yeah. Great questions, you guys. Yeah, Michael, or you had another question? Yeah. Um, do you know where is a good place in towns like in Milwaukee or anywhere I can buy a new mouth guard for the season, like for stress lipids? And when I play basketball around here, I'm just supposed to buy a mouth guard. Yeah, I mean, you could always do a uh, like a Dick Sporting Goods um, yeah. or uh, I think even Walgreens or CVS has them. Uh, okay. But uh, if if one of your first events is at an event that, that the Special Smiles is at, we can definitely fit you for one there at no charge. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Pick Pug Pills. That's done. That's done. Jennifer, I noticed you're muted. Do you have a question? Um, when I'm doing that cake. She's worried about when everything's going to start back up. Oh. Cake, cake pot pass. We're all we're all uh, we're all hoping really soon. So we just got to make sure everybody stays safe. So we'll get back to the sports side of things next week. Okay. I'm doing cake pot pass. I love it. Yep. Oh, in the fall. Yeah. I'm done. Hi, Reese. Do you have a question for the? For yes, Dr. I Powell? do. I am a healthy eater, and I'm heard about about this sort of uh, how to. The leader asked me, my question, when you brush your teeth really hard between your teeth and your, your gums, I did was bleeding in the, the sink. So you had some bleeding? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You brush your teeth too hard. Hmm. Yeah. That can sometimes happen. Sometimes when, you know, it's been a while, maybe since you went to the dentist and got a cleaning done by a hygienist or a dentist. Sometimes I did. 
I did in a grafton. They stopped my insurance. Now I go all the way to Wauwatosa in Milwaukee. Oh. And they don't have they don't have my insurance here. Go all the way to Milwaukee or Wauwatosa. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, it is normal sometimes if your if your gums are a little bit inflamed, that yeah. can cause bleeding when we're cleaning them, especially when we're flossing. Mm -hmm. But the more you do a really good job of cleaning, your gums will be less inflamed and then that will happen less. But when you're oh. brushing, you don't need to brush super, super, super hard so that it's painful. You just kind of want to brush so that we get a good clean. But yeah, sometimes it'll bleed. And that just means that you're doing a good job of cleaning the bacteria in between the teeth. I went to uh, Smiles, one of the his book places, um, Oshkosh. And I also couldn't see this point. Thank you. Yeah. I remember, um, I remember one of the guy who was talking about it, it was the one who is K, is M. And I remember you, he do me, I was in... Fucking Seamus Point. That's right. Yeah. It was you. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> how are you, uh, how are you, you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, good. Good. <laughs> hey, you know, and to follow up what Carly was talking about, a good way yeah. to think about it is if you have a cut on your arm and you don't keep it clean, that cut's yeah. going to stay infected and sore. But if you keep it clean, it's going to heal and it's going to feel a lot better. Okay. So the same you with told me, You told me no soda, no mm -hmm. bottle. There you go. Favorable. Good job. Water. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good nice job, Racy. Mm -hmm. Thanks. That's great. Good question, though. Very good. I have a question for you guys. If you don't mind raising your hand, if you have a local dentist. I do, but it's done. Okay. Well, I want to tell you guys, if any of you have a tr trouble getting into your local dentist or you don't have one, can you please let me know? Okay, you can, I'm going to put, um, I think you guys probably know how to get a hold of me, but you can also tell Don and he'll let me know because I want to help you try to make sure you get into a local dentist. And we also have two free dental days planned this year. Um, one is in July and one, and that's in Fond du Lac and one is in Madison in September. So I can help get you an appointment there too, if you need some work done. So remember, always remember I'm your dental person. I'll hook you up. Right. And tell okay. your teammates, right. Okay. Awesome. Any other last minute questions? You guys have been an awesome audience. What were I um already um uh, floss mine with the wire pick. Nice. Awesome. And you have a beautiful smile. Everybody does. How about we all smile? We all need more smiles right now, don't we? And I love the Wisconsin mask. Fabulous. Well, before we leave, I want to, again, thank our dental students for helping us out here. Um, you guys did really an awesome job on that video. I'm so excited. Um, I'm hoping that very soon it'll be on our website if you want to watch it again. Um, and uh, it'll be there for reference. And again, find me if you need help finding a dentist, okay? And we look forward to seeing you soon at a Special Smiles event. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Missy, so much for setting this up. And thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thank it was awesome, you guys. And thanks for the great questions, too. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, Missy, Bye. are you going to stay yeah, on? Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Leave, Melinda, leave. Yep, leave. Oh, bye, Don. Bye, Reese. We'll see you next I'll week. I'll see you next week. Okay, bye bye. Bye, bye Don. Don. Bye, bye, Don. Don. Bye, Spencer. Don, you're a rock star. <laughs> well, we usually no. during this this week, my son and I, my son's an athlete, and so uh, we have a weekly show where we talk about sort we, we have sports topics, but it's it 
branches off into all different kinds of things in the terms of just what's happening, how people's days are going, what's happening in the world. So it's right. a nice uh, chance for the athletes to really uh, just kind of. Ah. That's the w- the wigging out title when you came into the waiting room. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The Wednesday night show. <laughs> I like it. I like it. See you okay. tomorrow, Don. All right. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, Bye. Don. All right, PJ. Take care. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you see. I uh uh with uh the Fond du Lac event, I'm I already scheduled off of my schedule, but I have to find an assistant and stuff. So I'll email you once I confirm that. Uh, okay, and you know what? Tammy said she has three assistants from her clinic that want to volunteer. So you might, okay. you probably right. don't, you don't need one. I'll text her.